Today we install the GHL measurement cell. Woohoo! Let's do this! Hey everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation and today we're going to install the GHL measurement cell. What's so great about the GHL measurement cell is it comes with four probe holders and it's in line so therefore you're not going to get any micro bubbles which is great for those that have issues with their salinity probe. So without further ado, let's get started. So folks, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to put this. So we have a couple spots that we could do and my thought was originally to put it up here. Unfortunately, it's going to hit the wood underneath here and that's gonna be a little tricky. So my next thought is we're gonna put it in line on the manifold back here. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to remove this pipe right here, which luckily has two unions on the side, cut it and adapt it to this. Now, since we're using three quarter inch piping, we're gonna to have to take the half inch piping and reduce it, which we have some adapters for that. So by putting it right here, we're gonna get a nice filtered water coming out of the manifold into this so we'd have very little micro bubbles and it will allow us to get our probes right up here instead of right in the sump where they get dirty, where they get all kinds of micro bubbles. We're gonna get all of our information that we need, including salinity, which is probably the most difficult one to get consistent. With this, it's going to allow very little micro bubbles get to get in and therefore we're going to get a much better reading off of the salinity probe. All right, so in the box, you're going to get four of these little plungers and what they allow you to do is cap off any of the probe holes you're not going to be using. Now for this install, we're going to be using three probes here. So I'm only going to cap off one of them. Also, one of the convenient features of this unit is it has a back pressure valve which means that if you're not sending any flow through this unit, it actually will close off so you can remove the probes easily, which I thought was a really nice touch. So I marked it so that way it's going to fit in between those marks. And we're gonna have to cut it just to make sure that it fits exactly the depth dimension that it's at right now. So one thing to note is that the unit comes with Euro fittings here and it's not gonna work with our half inch pipe. So we're going to need to use these half inch adapters that you can buy from GHL as well, which will allow us to adapt it to half inch. Now, the other thing we're gonna have to do is since we have a three quarter inch tube, we have a reducer that's gonna go into your three quarter inch and then that way we can adapt to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to glue the reducing bushings before we do anything else. So I like to use heavy duty cement. It seems to be quick and easy and not affect anything in the fish tank. Uh, usually you can use this cement right away and not have to worry about uh, any issues after that. So we've installed the adapters on the sides and now we need to cut and measure so that way the pipe is exactly the same width as it was before.
All right, so we got the measurement cell in. Unfortunately, we had a small leak on the side here. We had to glue a little bit. Everything seems to be fine now. But as you see, when you first get it going, you're gonna get a air bubbles and you're gonna get a lip of air. So what you're gonna have to do is purge the air. So what I've done is I use the little plunger that I got and I slowly twist it so I can release the air. Once you start hearing the air getting released, that'll kind of get rid of the bubbles, tighten it up. And then as you can see, those micro bubbles just disappear. If you need to, you could probably just shake these guys a little bit to get the micro bubbles loose. Uh, but once they're gone, you're not gonna see them. And that's how you're gonna have to get it going. In terms of its flow, I got it going full bore. It really doesn't matter. You could probably have this a very low flow, just like your sump, so you can get a good reading off of it. GHL measurement cell in, no micro bubbles, and it's a successful install. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.